in New York City, that iconic outside and facade. Uh, we continue to follow this story, breaking news from the U.S. Grand jury in New York City has voted to indict former U.S. President Donald Trump. Trump will be the first former president to face criminal charges. It is related to an alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential campaign. Now, Trump's lawyer says he has been informed and it's not clear when he will surrender to authorities. A spokesperson for Trump says this is not an indictment of a crime. There was no crime. Now, we're changing up the format here on the debate. Normally, we close with our closing arguments, but because of this breaking news, we're going to bring back our panelists, Jessica Morehouse and Neil Headley, to talk a little bit about Donald Trump. Uh, Neil, I can see you shaking your head there. Um, one, are you surprised or are you surprised that it hasn't happened sooner? Are you kidding? There are, if we found Martians, they would not be surprised by this. Um, <laughs> Trump was the subject of 3,500 lawsuits before he even became president in 2016. Oh, he now is at the center of 4,100, including 20 that are considered, you know, major or criminal investigations. Um, so un unprecedented and unprecedented, I guess, if you want to mispronounce it a little bit. Am I surprised? No. What I'm grateful for is that someone found something that's not necessarily strictly politically related, for example, January 6th related, because that would get bogged down in the politics of all of it, and it would go nowhere if our real goal is to make sure that Donald Trump never becomes president of the United States again. This is the one that needed to stick. Jessica, when you consider the spectacle that normally follows Donald Trump, there are some reports that he could be arraigned next week. But do you think we'll hear from him, besides through a spokesperson, before then, given how he likes, essentially, to give his version of events, either on his own social media or through some of his favorite uh, you know, media outlets? Absolutely. I'm sure he's on Fox News as we speak. <laughs> you know, he's getting ready to go on there. I mean, yeah, this... It's so interesting that this was uh, just you know, came to light right before uh, we went on the air because my thoughts were like, wow, I didn't actually think he was ever. I thought he was just like the cat with nine lives. He, he was never going to get caught. Nothing was going to nail him down. And here we are. Good old Stormy Daniels. She did it. <laughs> she did it. It's just yeah, wild, and thought? it is I mean, about it, it, who would have thought this is the thing that actually will maybe get him into jail. That's it's it's mind boggling, um, but I don't care what does it. He you know he's caused so much damage and hurt, uh, not just in the United States but in Canada and across the world. So I think this is a uh, good news, and I'm sure I'm sure I'm going to get some okay. hate comments, but I don't care. <laughs> but here's the thing: I'll give you here's I'll give you both thirty seconds to wrap this up. Go ahead, Neil. Um, my in-laws, who live in uh, Foley, Alabama, have Make America Great Again license plate frames on the backs of their cars, um, mm -hmm. and they are among the tens of millions of people who will tell you that no matter what Donald Trump did, he would still make a fine president to get reelected in 2024 because he did good things for the country. I swear to God, that's what mm -hmm. they say. And there are tens of millions of them in America who feel that way. I know. And that's really sad. Just, it just really, the last on, word to you here. It literally sounds like he's a cult leader. Um, you know, hope we uh, see him go behind bars. See ya. Sayonara. <laughs>